Lesson 3.4, the complex fraction. There are many different uh, comp complex fraction forms, such as 5 over 4 over 3 and 1 over 2 over 3 over 5 or 1 over 2 over 5, something like that. Okay? And then there are many different ways to solve this problem. But this video, I'm going to show one method which I usually use and then consider easiest term method. Okay, so look at the page 22. Uh, we want to warm up the question such as number 1a and number 1c. So number 1a is 5 over 8 over 2 over 5. Of course, you may think uh, this is like a 5 over 8 divided by 2 over 5, and you can solve it as well. But I'm not gonna do this method because uh, this is too much proper, uh, too much progressing, and then also a little bit tedious. Then now, whenever you have this kind of complex form. The key point is you must think the numerator and denominator separately. Okay, so numerator you will see 5 over 8. So this is a fraction form. Denominator 2 over 5 also another fraction form. So the numerator and denominator both have the fraction form. Now please find the LCD between these two denominators. As you see, numerator case, 8 is the denominator. The denominator case, 5 is the denominator. What is the common, least common multiple between 8 and 5? Yes, so LCD equal to 40. Then now, you multiply 40 into both fractions. So multiply 40 and multiply 40 here. Then you will simplify 8 and 40 first. So this becomes 5 and this becomes 8. Therefore, the answer becomes 25 over 16. Okay, look at another question, number 1c. The question is 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5 over 1 over 2 minus 3 over 10. Okay, this is another complex fraction form. So as you see, this is numerator fractions and that's the denominator fractions here. So what are the denominator numbers? Yes, you see 4, 5, 2 and 10. So now you are looking for LCD for all these four numbers. What is the LCD for those four numbers? Yes, if you find 20, that is correct. Okay. Then now next step, you multiply 20 to every fraction. Okay. So this becomes 20 times 1 over 4 minus 20 times 1 over 5 over 20 times 1 over 2 minus 20 times 3 over 10. So simplify each fraction, then this is going to be 5, this is going to be 4, this is going to be 10, this is going to be 2. Then you simplify, so this is going to be 5 minus 4 over 10 minus 6 because 2 times 6 is 2 times 3 here which means 1 over 4 that will be the answer so what about a little bit more complicated case here so which means we are covering number 2 so number 2 they also include some kind of variables here so I'm going to start from number 2a. So number 2a is 
So 3x square over 5y cube over 6x over 12y square x. So to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to bring down uh, both denominator from numerator and denominator. As you see, numerator, this is 5y cubed, and denominator, 12y squared x. We're going to find out the LCD for those two fractions. Then, as you see, the common factor is y squared. So, this becomes 5y, and then 12x. And then, there's nothing else, so you multiply them. Then, this come out, y squared times 5y times 12x, which means we can say 60xy cubed. That will be the, our least common denominator. Now, you multiply this LCD to both numerator fraction and denominator fraction here. Okay, then this is going to be So 5 and 60 become 12 and y cube, y cube cancelled out. So numerator become 3x cube. And denominator, so 12 and 60 cancelled out. This one and x cancelled out. So become 6xy. Now, can we simplify more here? Yes, then we should do it. So this become 1, 2, 2 here, so x square over 2y. That will be the, our final answer. Now, what about even more complicating stuff here, such as page 23, uh, letter E. Then it is the 1 over a minus 1 over 1 over a. So when you look at here, a numerator, this is the only denominator. Denominator, that's the only denominator. So as you see, common LCD is a, right? So you multiply a here or a here. Then this is going to be 1 minus a over 1, which means 1 minus a. That will be the answer. So now, letter G. Which is 1 over x plus 1 over y over 1 over x minus 1 over y. What's the denominators on numerator and denominator? And can you find the LCD for all four different denominators? If you find x times y, then that is correct. And then we multiply this common denominator into all this denominator here, the fraction here. Then this becomes xy times 1 over x plus xy times 1 over y over xy times 1 over x minus xy times 1 over y. If you simplify that, then so y plus x over y minus x. That will be the answer for this letter. Okay, then what about uh, letter J case? J is 2 minus 4 over x plus 2 over 5 minus 10 over x plus 2. Remember that you only find the denominator value from the numerator and the denominator. As you see, those are denominator factor, so LCD becomes x plus 2. Then you are multiplying x plus 2 in both 
numerator and denominator. Okay, then this become 2x plus 2 minus 4 over 5x plus 2 minus 10. Now, open the parenthesis and simplify. Then this become 2x plus 4 minus 4 over 5x plus 10 minus 10. So as you see, these two cancelled out. So answer becomes 2x or 5x. But as you see, x also can, can be cancelled. So 2 over 5 is the answer.